Getting the lawn mowing done. It's like one of those DIY haircuts, you know, those lockdown haircuts. Look at it. Good morning, team. So, over the last couple of weeks, I've really upped my skills. You see this? Nice Wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> you see this team? I was literally hammer nailing a screw for the vlog. <laughs> I feel like them gymnasts. Ready, babe? Flip. Just make you appreciate how incredible it is what they do. Yeah. Look how cool our wall looks. Hey, we could have could have tried and pass this off as our DIY. I might just get Dan in the shot. <laughs> so today we got a professional in called Big Dan because he's big and his name's Dan. Fairly self explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm small jazz. <laughs> Hi, and I'm moderate Craig. <laughs> Average Craig. Yeah. Not quite six foot Craig. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I want to say put it in the chat because I've been doing Twitch so long. Hey chat, what's going on chat? Put it in the uh, description down below if there's any smell better than a barbecue smell. Uh, there isn't. Think about it. It's like when people ask me why I wear double XL t-shirts, it's because it's like wearing a blanket all day. Think about it. It's like a music video. It's like a music video, <laughs> but in a workshop. Can't work that means. Just debating what songs to have on for today. Squatting. I see, I do like the Juice World album, but we've literally listened to it non stop for a week. This is Come and Go, isn't it? Yeah. Come and Go is the best song on the album. Whatever he says. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a mix between rock and RB. Yeah, it's good, it's a good song. I, don't, I, I like the whole album. I've just not stopped listening to it. No cardio. Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one felt really good. I just <laughs> went for it. <laughs> That's the heaviest I've lifted so since my injury, and it went really, really well. Yeah, that felt, that didn't, I felt no struggle at all. That was great. <laughs> Wait. Wait. We, are, we now have a new judge for the reps. <laughs> Wait. 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 And he will judge if your reps are good or not. <laughs> oh, be man <laughs> That was a horrible descend as well. You know, like sometimes when you go towards like your max max and you haven't done it in a while, if you like descend wrong, you end up twerking your way down. <laughs> but then that means you just have to attack it more on the way up. Like the 185, I had a good descend and it just felt great. That one felt strong on the way up, but on the way down, I was like, if you bobble out of position a little bit too much, you're going to get flattened. And I was like, I'm not getting flattened. We don't quit. 190. Then, Did it. Yeah. That 200's coming back and then we'll hit 210. That felt fast on the way up, so like it's just confidence week on week. To be fair, it only looked wobbly on the way down. And the sticking point very marginally on the way up was because of the down. Yeah. Like I feel now if I really hit, if I, if I hit a good squat I could hit 200 again. And when I used to hit 200 it was like hit or miss. Whereas now I feel like I've got it in my legs but I'm just still taking my time. You just look really controlled on the way down. Yeah. That's, that's one of the bonuses about since doing my back like I've realized that I can't f not realize but like when I when I did that I didn't want to bounce out the bottom of a squat I didn't want to like hit the bottom like you usually do sometimes when you're just overconfident and you haven't got anything problems and you just kind of let the bar come down you hit that bottom of the squat and you let kind of the tendons and joints send you back up and I'm like I'm not doing that so I'm being more controlled and it's like good because the eccentric movement is where you build your strength to be honest also a lot of people ask me why I wear my knee sleeves like this instead of like this just because I like the feeling of where it keeps my patella but it also just keeps my tendon warm and that's the only part that I get like any sort of 
It just is tighter around the tendon and it just feels nice on your knee. It's the only real reason. It keeps the tendon warm. And I used to have really bad Osgood slatters when I was growing up. So I'm not getting that back. And I had tendonitis and this seems to be a good thing to help it. You definitely could have got one more, you just, you're not somebody that does sloppy reps. Yeah, I don't do you know what I mean? It's the same with your bar muscle ups, you never do a, a chicken wing, you always drop no. down before that kind of thing. Yeah. Efficient movement is the best way forward. Maybe you could have got one or two really sloppy reps more. I ain't about that. There's another week, that's eight reps. It's one more than I did a couple of weeks ago. I'm happy, I'm happy. I'll hit 10 soon. 170 for 10 will be good. Then we're just going to build up to that elusive 180 for 10. Next week. <laughs> next week. Next week. Next week. It's having those little goals in your head, you know, like, just, you know, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll hit 195 for a heavy single. We'll hit that for nine. Then we'll probably hit 200 for a single. Hit that for 10. We've definitely seen a lot of strength improvement over the last however many weeks. I love those this. AMRAP sets because you know it's just you, you you get under the bar and you just go for it. When you're warming up 170 feels really heavy but then once you've hit your heavy single that weight doesn't feel that heavy anymore. It's a shed. So you just yeah shed you just get it. Shed. <laughs> Definitely shed. I did feel you know when I brought the bar off the rack the final time though it felt light, like when I took it off the rack, I was like, this feels really light, but then my legs just felt fatigued. That's, <laughs> that's why on the Mondays, I really like going to a heavy single, where yeah, you could probably squat a bit more, but it lights up your central nervous system. So when you drop 20 kilos, your body's felt 190 on your back, so then 170 is like, whoa, wow. And you haven't done many reps to build up to that heavy single, so you're still pretty fresh to hit a good set. Tips for squat day. Tips for squat day. These are like, I mean, some people will go and do 10 by 10 and fricking three by five and stuff. Just at the moment, I'm really enjoying building up to a heavy single and then doing an AMRAP drop off set. And then taking that central nervous system firing into the power cleans, you feel good. Big cleans now. Big cleans now. Big clean day. It's easy to rip. Oh, 150. It's good, that's only 10 kilos off my PB and it feels fast and snappy and good. So, happy. Compared to last week's terribleness. Oh, it was awful. You had a stroke, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Princess Craig came out. <laughs> Everyone is loving the Princess Craig. I know, yeah. They? <laughs> so mardy. Oh, it was just bad after bad after bad after bad after bad. You know, just like nothing was feeling good. Nothing was like, and I was just, it was like, right, the next thing will be great. You know, when you keep going positive and then you just like hit your head on a wall, you're like, what? Going from the oh, front. Oh. From the front. Oh. Oh, ah. you You've been practicing. Oh, yeah, man. That little, little doggo on the front. How long has oh. that taken? All of quarantine. How many coffees? Got to be in up to 100 now, easy. They are so cute, those cups. I'm gonna take a photo. I'm gonna nick your photo. Mine not so good. Oh, you ruined it. Uh, follower here, C-A-R Richie. Hey, don't plug me or anything. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Do I, no. <laughs> hey. How cute she is though. You treat guests here. <laughs>